the world for over 30 years. The space shuttle turned its place in history and it's come to a final stop. IDA provides a capability that currently the U.S. doesn't have. Once we knew that, that the shuttle was going away, it provided an opportunity to talk about developing a standard for docking. Exploration often starts with government investing in something that's very difficult, hoping for a very long-term economic gain. And then as an area gets more accessible, then commercial companies can come in and start providing a lot of those transportation and delivery services. A great example of that are the railroads pushing in the westward expansion in North America. Uh, there were private public partnerships made with the railroads to help them build the railroad, get things going, but then eventually those railroads could step back and operate in a fully commercial way. And that's basically what we're seeing going on in low Earth orbit. Uh, we're enabling a capability to carry astronauts up to the International Space Station. Once Boeing and SpaceX have this ability, they are free to market that. And if somebody wants to build a space station in low Earth orbit, and take private astronauts up, they are free to go do that and, and market it with this capability. You know, the space shuttle's been with us. It's been the heart and the soul of the human space flight program for about 30 years. And, you know, it's a little sad to see it go away. But uh, hopefully in the not too distant future, you're going to see a heavy lift vehicle manufactured by our commercial partners designed by NASA in partnership. And we're going to go back uh, to the moon, back to Mars. So the future is very bright.